everyone. This is Miss Bronze Beauty, and this is just my response to the bogus study that was done <laughs> on the attractiveness of black women. Okay. It seems to me that whatever fools funded this testicle, it seems that it would have been of more far, far greater use this money to, to be used to help his people out there with the radiation. Okay, the, the radiation from the nuclear plant uh, producing rabbits with no ears. There's radiation in a food and a water supply. Um, of course, there's going to be deformities to the humans out there, you know. It, it seems that if you're going to fund a study, what, and you're Japanese, a Japanese scientist, wouldn't, wouldn't it been much more, it could have been far more utilized in developing ways to help your people instead of doing a bogus study on whether or not black women are attractive. The whole study is laughable. I, for one, as a black woman, okay, and I love the skin I'm in, okay? I'm not weighing 20 pounds of weave on my head. I, I like everything about me and my race, okay? To think, I can't even be upset, but to think <laughs> that a study can be a scientific study can be done on whether or not someone finds me as a black woman attractive <laughs> it's laughable it's giggable okay uh, have you seen the scientist his pale flabby looking ass seriously are there any sisters out there who are broken hearted <laughs> that this testicle doesn't find them attractive maybe that was the purpose of this study maybe he tried to holler at his sister and she turned him down quickly or maybe he's jealous because he's not a black woman what has it it, it, it makes me think that you know there's been a lot of tension because of this study there's been a lot of attention towards him from black women. So maybe what, that's what this study was about. He wanted more attention from black women because he wasn't getting any. <laughs> um, I don't know. But the, the whole study is bogus. <laughs> okay? I can't, you can't even get upset with it. And in fact, I don't know about y'all, but it's unnerving. It's a bit unnerving. All this attention, media attention towards us. We're so interesting to so many people. It's obsessive. It really is. I don't know if we should strap ourselves up, <laughs> get strapped, start carrying, get a can of mace. I don't know. But what is the big deal? Who cares whether anyone finds us attractive or not when there's so many other things that's going on? If you're going to conduct a study and get funding for it, shouldn't it be for something that's more important than attractiveness of someone? Seriously? And this is science? <laughs> that's kickable. But anyway, this is just my opinion. Wow. Anyway, I don't see where the media will ever have anything positive to say about us because it never has, whether it's black women, black men, or black children. The media is controlled by racist individuals who can't stand our guts, but are obsessed with us. Anyway, 
I, I think these the, the so-called scientists and the people who funded him, the racists who funded him, <laughs> should seek therapy. And stop sweating black women. And stop sweating the black populace. Okay? You find us unattractive. Stop looking at us. <laughs> Plain and simple. I find someone is, uh, that's unattractive. I'm not steady gazing at them. I'm not doing studies on them. <laughs> okay? I'm not paying them any mind. If it was true that you honestly felt that black women were unattractive, you want to do a study on them. Who obsesses over someone who's unattractive? No one. Bogus study. Anyway, that was my opinion. <laughs> Y'all take care.